In this video lesson, we're going to learn about percent composition. Percent composition is defined as the percent by mass of each part of a whole or total. For the most part, uh, we are going to be thinking of the element as a part of a compound, but percent problems generally are the part over the whole um, and then expressed as a percentage. So for example, you have a pile of 200 candies, 26 of them are red and 174 of them are blue. What percent of the candies are red? So in this case, the part of the whole are the red candies. Okay, And so those we know we have 26 candies let's call that red candies, over 200 total candies. Okay. And um, we're going to then multiply that by 100 to put it into percent form. Now notice the unit of candies are going to disappear. So our calculator work won't actually have a unit other than the percent sign. So the math becomes 26 divided by 200, and we're going to multiply that number by 100 to put it into percent form, and we're going to get 13% of the candies are red. Okay, so it's the part over the whole. Um, we're going to now move forward with this concept, meaning um, that we're going to look at the mass of elements within the entire compound. So our second example will move us into this idea of a compound, and we are going to find the percent composition of just the oxygen in sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4. First thing we're going to have to do is find the mass of the entire compound, which depends on the number of uh, elements we have in each of uh, in this compound. So we're going to see that there are two hydrogens because we have the two subscript after the hydrogen. We've got one sulfur and we've got four oxygens. Now to find the atomic mass, we're going to have to go to the periodic table and we're going to look at the atomic mass. So for hydrogen, we're going to see 1.00794. Now that's too big of a number to write it as is. So we're going to always round that to the nearest tenth. And if we round this number to the nearest tenth, it is 1.0 AMUs. So even if the tenth is a zero, we are still, um, we're still going to be expected to express it that, to, to show that you did indeed round it to the nearest tenth. Since we have two of them, so two times 1.0, our subtotal here from the hydrogen is 2.0. We have one sulfur, and if we go to the periodic table, we're going to find sulfur's mass is, to the nearest tenth, is 32.1 AMUs. Okay, so that's going to give us a subtotal of 32.1 AMU. Each oxygen is 15.9994. We're going to round that to the nearest tenth to be 16.0 AMUs. And 16 times 4 is 64.0 AMUs. Now what we're going to do is add those three numbers together. So 2 plus 32.1 plus 64.0. We're going to get 98.1 AMUs. Okay, so this right here is the total mass, but remember we were doing, uh, this problem is finding the mass, uh, I'm sorry, the percent composition of oxygen. So our second step will be to take note of the mass of just the oxygen in the compound, right? And all the oxygens totaled up to be 64.0 AMUs. Okay, so that's the number that's going to go in here. So let's substitute those in. 64.0 AMU, the mass of just the oxygen, divided by the mass of the entire compound of 98.1 AMU, multiplied by 100, 
And let's see what our calculator, let's see what our calculator gives us here. 64.0 divided by 98.1 times 100. And that gives us, uh, let's take that number and round it to the nearest tenth, because these numbers were to the nearest tenth. So we're going to go 65.2% oxygen. All right, let's try a few examples on the back. Okay, finding the percent composition of, of oxygen in each one of these examples. Um, we have sodium hydroxide is the name of this compound. And it's got one sodium, it's got one oxygen, and it's got one hydrogen. Okay. Well, that's going to make the math pretty simple because now what we have to do is look up the mass of each sodium according to the periodic table to the nearest tenth is 23.0, 23.0 AMU. So our subtotal there is going to be 23.0 AMUs because there's just one of them. Now oxygen, we saw from the previous example that oxygen weighs 16.0 AMUs. And because there's only one of them, the subtotal from the oxygen is 16.0 AMUs. From the previous example, we saw hydrogen was 1.U AMUs. Subtotal there is also 1 AMU. So we're going to add these numbers together using our calculator. 23 plus 16 plus 1, and this is going to work out to 40.0 AMUs. All of these numbers were to the nearest tenth. We're going to maintain that level. Okay. So this is not the problem, right? This is not the end of the problem. We are now going to find the percent oxygen, which is, as you call, recall, the mass of the oxygen over the mass of the total. All right, so let's substitute those in. The total oxygen was 16.0 AMUs. We're going to divide that by the mass of the total, 40.0 AMUs, multiplied by 100 to put it into percent form. Our calculator, 16 divided by 40 times 100. Okay, this is going to be equal to 40% oxygen. All right, let's try our next problem. Okay, this is KMNO4. This is called potassium permanganate. And what we have here is one potassium. We have one manganese and we have four oxygens. So we're going to take the quantity of each, multiply them by their masses. Okay. Potassium, this is one we haven't looked up yet. Potassium is 39.1 AMUs. There's only one of them, so the subtotal there is 39.1 AMU. Manganese, Mn to the nearest tenth is 54, let's see. I think that's 54.9, 54.9, 54.9 AMUs. Since there's only one of them, that is our subtotal from manganese. Oxygens, we've seen oxygens a couple times now, so we know that one oxygen weighs 16 AMUs. 16 times 4 is 64.0 AMUs. Now our job is just to add those numbers. 39.1 plus 54.9 plus 64. Total there is 158.0 AMUs. Our job now is to find the percent oxygen. Uh, the mass of the oxygen is 64.0 AMUs. The total mass is 
0 0.0 AMUs. Multiplying that by 100, let's see what our calculator says. So we've got 64 divided by 158 times 100. Rounding that to the nearest tenth, we've got 40.5% oxygen. Okay, last problem. This is uh, NH42CO3. This is called ammonium carbonate. And we've got, first element is nitrogen. There are two of them. The second element I see is hydrogen, four times two. That's eight. Carbon, there's one. Oxygen, there's three. From the periodic table, each nitrogen weighs 14.0 AMU. So that's going to give us a subtotal of 28.0 AMU. Hydrogen, eight of them, each at 1.0, gives us a subtotal from the hydrogen of 8.0 AMU. Carbon, from the periodic table to the nearest tenth is 12.0 AMU for a subtotal of 12.0 AMU. And lastly, oxygen is, uh, we know uh, from previous examples, each oxygen is 16, but there are three of them, so that's going to give us 48.0 AMU. Okay. Last thing to do here is to add up these numbers, or not quite the last thing, but the next step. So we're going to go 28 plus 8 plus 12 plus 48. Our total here is 96.0 AMU. To find percent oxygen, we're going to take that mass of oxygen, 48.0 AMU divided by the total mass of 96.0 AMU, multiply the whole thing by 100, 48 divided by 96 times 100 gives us exactly 50%, but we're going to go ahead and make sure we record that to the nearest tenth, because that's the protocol that we've been using, and so this compound is 50% by mass of oxygen. So there you have it. In this lesson, we have learned how to calculate percent composition, knowing that percent composition is the part divided by the total and expresses a percent by multiplying by 100. That's it for now. We'll see you back in the classroom.